I'm a big fan of Monica. In fact, uh, the other day I tweeted that my, one of my Desert Island albums is uh, uh, After the Storm. Ooh, and that, it was after the storm. It was for after. Me. I know you had been through some stuff oh, after yes. that album, before that album. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can it you was... listen to that album anymore? I don't listen to myself. Period. You won't. Why not? Because uh, I'm stuck hearing myself all the time. I don't know. Mm. I once you stand. So typically, when you hear a song, you hear three minutes. Mm -hmm. But for about 17, sometimes to 20 hours, I've sang the song repeatedly to yeah. record it as perfectly as possible for you. Yeah. So sometimes when I leave the session, I leave the session. Uh. <laughs> you know, I leave it, leave it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the first time that I ever heard myself back um, on a regular basis was when I first met and fell in love with my... I don't know, do you call him your husband? What, what is he now? I don't I, know. The, I, well, I don't know. I guess the law says he's still my husband. He would listen to me... Uh, he would listen to me all the time because musically he's one of my greatest supporters. Mm -hmm. And he would just tell me, like, you jam it. And he even found a backpack to wear to practice that would play my music. So that was the first time about nine years ago that mm -hmm. I started hearing myself back. And now what I'm forcing myself to do is to critique myself the same way. Mm. So I've just started where I'll listen to some things, but I haven't heard after the storm since the storm was raining down. That is interesting. On me. That's interesting. Yeah. What about uh, uh, Brandy and Monica? You listen to Brandy and Monica, the boys' mind? No. No. What's your relationship like now with Brandy? I listen to Brandy. Uh huh. I just don't listen to Brandy and Monica. Uh -huh. um, be, we we've had two records together. Yeah. Uh, over a 20-something year span. I mm -hmm. think the boy's mind turned 21 last week. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the, the reality is, is that, like for me, Have You Ever is one of my favorite records of all time. Mm -hmm. But listening to her is super easy. I just don't listen to myself. Mm -hmm. uh, she has one of the greatest voices she does. of our time. She really does. And I love Brandy, her, yeah. yeah. And um, I always say that her tone her tone is just immaculate. So yeah. I listen to her, but me listening to me, I just have not gotten there yet. Were you two uh, put together from, by the record companies or were you all friends before? We had never met when we recorded The Boy Is Mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was something a lot of people didn't know. We, she was working on her album with Rodney Jerkins mm -hmm. and they already had the song written and produced. Mm -hmm. And so they called me, I'm out in Atlanta, doing country stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> they had me come out here to uh, California and we recorded the record. That was our first time meeting. And did you guys maintain a relationship afterward? Not at all. No. We didn't, we didn't maintain a relationship because once the song was released, that's when all of the supposed, they don't like each other. This right, is it. Right. And then it was created to be even bigger by the skits, all of the different stuff that was happening that came with the song. But since in the song we were feuding, it basically kind of created that atmosphere and it became almost like a real thing throughout uh -huh. teenage right. years. Yeah. But we're adults now. Yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. Mean, we, nobody got time to be Nobody fighting. got time for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes.